everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to part 4 of a two-part guide to a new SRS build that doesn't use minion instability. With the right combination of gear and gems, SRS can have both good clear speed and bossing DPS. In part 1, I'll showcase the endgame version of the build. You will see a bit of blight, a double beyond daily minimap, and lastly a maven kill. Then I'll go over the key features, passives, and gear including gems and links. The high monster density from Double Beyond and Delirium actually works really well for SRS builds. This maven kill is a bit slow in the last phase because I didn't have all 20 SRS and I wasn't able to position Hydrosphere but you can see how easy it is to off-screen kill with SRS.
The key features of the build are scaling SLS gem level with a plus 2 amulet, plus 2 wand, and plus 2 body armor. Buffing damage with a carry on golem, cannage chieftain, horse chieftain, and pair seraphim. Using seal mendal for faster seal gain. And taking advantage of the hydrosphere mechanic. If you didn't know, Hydrosphere reflects damage from melee splash. So, if you have it next to a boss, they will get hit twice. You need Divergent Melee Splash to take full advantage of this mechanic. Here is the passive chip for the build. The key points are Redemption Anointment, Sovereignty Cluster, Civil Masteries, and two extra passive points from killing all bandits. The build in the showcase uses double clusters. I use large jewels with Seal Menda to cast 6 SRS every 2 seconds. Another option is Minion Damage with Raise and Pillage and Slaughter, which gives the SRS about 25% more DPS but the seal recharge is 3.2 seconds instead of 2. The medium jewels are for increasing SRS damage as well as survivability of the support minions. The notables are a combination of Feasting Fiends, Renewal, Blessed Reverse, and Life from Death. In the cluster sockets, I have Fortress Covenant, Quickening Covenant, Surgeon Vitality and the Enduring Composure for NGS Charges. The four sure sockets have ghastly eye jewels with 5, damage and attack speed. Note that at least one jewel must have added fire damage for combustion. For the ascendancies, I'm using Commander of Darkness, Mindless Aggression, Unnatural Strength, and Mistress of Sacrifice. For the Pantheons, I mostly use Lunaris and Shakari. Here is an overview of the gear including gems and links. The helmet is for keeping the carrion golem and inspectors alive, so the important mods are plus 3 to minion gems and minion life. For the enchant, Look for 21% flesh offering or SRS 40% increased damage. It's easier to buy a bone helmet with the right enchant, but the demon helmet from Ritual will give you more DPS because of exposure. The gems are Carrion Golem, Ray Spectre, Feeding Frenzy, and Combustion. The body armor should have plus 2 to SRS. For example, plus 1 int and plus 1 active. A cheaper alternative is a skin of the lord or a corrupted 6 link like a plus 2 duration tabula. The gems are Summon Raging Spirit, Awaken Minion Damage, Awaken Unleash, Predator, Multi Strike, and Divergent Melee Splash. You must use Divergent Melee Splash to take advantage of the Hydrosphere mechanic. To save currency, I recommend Divergent Multi Strike. It costs about 1.5x compared to 50x for Awakened Multi Strike, and you only lose about 9% DPS. To save currency, I recommend Divergent Multi Strike. It costs about 1.5x compared to 50x for Awakened Multi Strike, and you only lose about 9% DPS. The gloves are replica grip of the console for 20% extra fire damage. You can even use normal grip of the console because the build also scales cold damage. The gems are Skitter Bolts, Unbound Ailments, Hatred, and Generosity. For the boots, 
look for plastic vinyl gems which drops in delve. The gems are Ray Zombie, Meat Shield, Minion Life, and Flame Dash. You can swap Minion Life to Animate Guardian if you like using one. For your weapon, you want plus 2 for your SIS. You can get this from plus 1 to minions, plus 1 to spells, or plus 1 to fire spells. You will also need an open suffix to craft trigger. The gems are Desecrate, Flesh Offering, and Level 12 Arcane Surge. For the offhand, I'm using a shield for extra survivability, but you can use a second wand for more DPS. Note that you can also get plus 1 to fire spells on your shield. The gems are cast when damage taken linked to immortal core, and unlinked hydrosphere. For the amulet, Use a Hunter Warlord Amulet with plus 1 to Int and plus 1 to Fire. I anointed Redemption for a cheap DPS boost. For the rings, you should have Aspect of the Avian and Elemental Weakness cast and hit. And I highly recommend crafting Minion Speed on both rings. The belt is darkness enthroned to socket 2 ghastly eye jewels with 75% increase effect. Lastly, my flasks are Life is Bleed Removal, Granite with Extra Armor, Quicksilver with Speed Boost, Quartz with Freeze Removal, and Jade with Burning Removal. Before I finish the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Okay, I hope you enjoy the spirit guide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please check the pinned comment for any updates. The next video will be part 2 which showcases the low budget version with no class jewels. Thanks for watching! Bye!